do you believe that only Christians can be in relationship with God? No, I believe that when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, in the way I read that, Jesus said, he is the, he's the road marker. So are gay people also included? Absolutely. Anybody is. You know, you know, Oprah, we sometimes make a, I say we, maybe the Christian community makes a bigger deal out of gay, out of being gay, but will a gay person be accepted into heaven as you see it? Well, I believe they will. I'm going to say something will knock your lights off. God has the power to take life, but he can't. He got the power to do it, but he won't. He's bound. He can't. He says death and life is in the power of whose tongue? Yours. You ready for this? You want something to knock your lights off? You choose when you live. You choose when you die. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. What we are seeing here in the West is not ultimately the moral decay of culture, but rather the decay of Western Christianity, which results in a decaying society as a whole. What we've done is we've traded good biblical theology for universal tolerance, calling it love. Let me ask you, is it loving to damn people by lying to them? In order to display genuine love, you must be dedicated to genuine truth. And truth, at its core, is uncomfortable and uncompromising. Let's take the word truth a bit further. The gospel, at its core, is uncomfortable and uncompromising. Why? Because the first thing it does is it tells you that there's something deeply wrong with you. Nobody wants to hear that. So instead of preaching the gospel, which states that we are all sinners bound for hell in desperate need of a savior, we sugarcoat it and say things like, God loves you just the way that you are. And we sacrifice biblical truth for the empty philosophy of man. This project I've been working on was born through a powerful quote from Pastor Douglas Wilson who said, it's not the job of the preacher to be a firefighter out in the world. We're not supposed to be running around putting out other people's fires. We are supposed to be arsonists in the world. With that being said, I am proudly introducing for the first time the Theological Arsonist. This movement will take its form in podcasts, videos, books, and eventually, God willing, events all around the world. I'll be interviewing different pastors, Christian authors, theologians, and many others who are committed to this same ideal. No more will we dance around the difficult parts of God's word, sugarcoating the truth for the masses. No more will we sacrifice good theology for peaceable living. Instead, we will proclaim truth with zero qualification. God gave us his word to be studied, and it is remarkably sanctifying for believers to come together and wrestle through all of the different issues, whether that be cultural issues, di difficult doctrines, or even differences of theology between Christian brothers and sisters. Regardless of what it is, we should work through these things. And that, my friends, is what this movement is all about, regaining and teaching good biblical theology, and as a result, raising up theological arsonists all around the world. My hope for the theological arsonists is that it will indeed be a movement of Christian men and women who are sick of being the firefighters for culture. If anything is going to get better in Christianity and heal Christianity in the West, it's the faithful teaching and preaching of the Word of God. Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. This whole project is born out of a burning desire to get Christians back to sola scriptura, and by doing so, hold nothing back in an all-out assault on feel-good Christianity. We need to get back to a point where we can share the truth in love while simultaneously saying, I don't care what you think of me. So now I leave it up to you. Will you join the movement? Will you become a theological arsonist? Will you put down your bucket of water and trade it in for a torch? The choice is yours. A forest fire starts with one spark.